this girl is not bad. <laughs> We're just gonna do a quick run over of this character and how you can basically get the most out of them with doing as little as possible. Work smarter, not harder, you know? First of all, I wanna say, do not run this character's DPS. You basically want this character to be on the field as little as time as possible. And you know, those who look at this and she's like, well, she's only good if her HP's low, keep her off the field. She would be even worse, quote unquote, if her skill did not take away some of her HP because you can just take the HP away and switch into another character. Basically, Basically what her skill is, is just we combined Kokomi and Chi Chi's. Chi Chi's doing the damage and surrounding you, Kokomi's doing frequent healing on the field, but this thing follows you. And it's a four star. Much like any other healer, they're going to just not be on the field pretty much ever. Are we keeping Chi Chi on the field? Unless if you're just playing her in co-op and you're the only person playing her, like she's never on the field. She's never going to be on the field. Getting her below 50% HP is very, very simple. And don't let the HP and elemental mastery scaling kind of intimidate you because it's a lot easier than you might think. All you're having to think about is just HP main stats. She very heavily scales up HP and just throw in a couple or you know it's pretty easy to get like a little bit of elemental mastery in those sub stats. You don't have to worry about crit rate, crit damage, attack, nothing. Just elemental mastery and HP. Luckily she's not a DPS thus making this easier. She's just there for healing, utility, elemental reactions, etc. Now for the parts that people might just be like well you know her burst can kind of be a little wonky. You know I was seeing that in the trial. I was like like, oh my god, it literally only focuses on one singular enemy and not the others that are just running around me. Since she is a four star, her C1 can literally help us out. But it's not often that you're gonna really be surrounded by all these enemies like you see in the test run. The test run's really there to make it seem easier than it actually is, more satisfying than it actually is. It, they're putting her, you know, it's weird because we see her in the first slot and we're intending her to be like, oh my god, doing so much damage, really helping out the team, but she's really just, if anything, someone else should be in the first slot. She's not meant to be. So they're trying to show as many elemental reactions as possible in that trial run, but think about when you're fighting just a boss. She's just there to heal you and to throw in that extra elemental reaction for you. She'd be great for physical DPS. I'm not going to go over too much of her constellations because of course it's not the easiest thing to just go ahead and get a C6 of this character, but she's very much meant to be off the field. Her C4 literally just says any character that's affected by her skill. She's not meant to be on the field literally ever. She's just there to keep your team alive. Healers should not be expected to deal a ton of damage. Their role is a healer. Bennett out here is not expected to deal a bunch of damage, though people do big crit builds for him just for his burst, but it's not ideal. This woman is here to just heal and give elemental reactions. Electra will end up being more viable as the game continues on. She's not going to be completely useless, and I would be pulling for her myself, but I do have to sip for characters. However, I'll be very excited if I ever just see her come up on an off banner or if I get her in a standard wish. But yeah, anyway, stop being so hard on her, stop being on hard on characters, period. There's just too much hate that goes around for just characters in general. This isn't like a, here's my, you know, she's the best, but... There's just too much going on here when she's literally just support, healer, a four star. It's like, we sh this shouldn't be expected to be the best thing in the world, obviously. I think she's a great addition to your team, and I recommend leveling her and building her.